And I really, really appreciate you all being out here this morning. This is an important morning. Yes, it's the morning before inauguration tomorrow. But during the campaign, we had a chance to come walk parts of the slave trail. And what we recognized is first, the way it made us feel connected to our history. Yes, the toughest part of our nation's history. But it also helped us understand where we can go and how much progress we have made. We also noticed that it needed to be cleaned up. And if we're gonna understand our history, we have to embrace our history and be engaged in our history. And we can make it even more inviting for people to come walk this trail. So I was so excited this morning to have so many people come out and engage with us. And I hope everybody noticed, you can get a lot done when you all come together and do it in unity. And that's what we did this morning. So thank you all for being here. And I'm happy to take a few questions. Well, I'll, I'll go back. We, we chose this morning and this place because of the experience that I had on the slave trail during the campaign. That in fact, the slave trail is a moment for us to understand our history, to understand it with clarity, but also it needs to be maintained. It needs to be inviting. And so we today can do that work. Service is important. And every individual in the Commonwealth can make a difference when in fact we jump together and work together in order to make a difference together. And this inauguration comes a day after the Supreme Court's decision to block most of President Joe Biden's vaccine campaign. Don't show my What's your reaction on that? And then also their decision to allow some of the vaccine campaigns to go forward. What are you going to do? Yeah, so first, uh, I was very encouraged by the Supreme Court ruling yesterday on OSHA. Attorney General-elect Meares and I have felt very strongly that overreach from the federal government needs to be met clearly and pushed back upon. And we felt that Virginia workers, Virginia families were going to suffer unnecessarily. And so I was very pleased with the OSHA decision from the Supreme Court yesterday. I wasn't happy with the CMS decision. And we have a crisis right now in our healthcare system and the crisis is, is being caused by a complete lack of staffing. We have a real need for more hospital workers, more nurses, more technicians, because folks have worked tirelessly for two years. There are heroes, but we need more. And I feel strongly that the CMS decision, unfortunately, makes it harder for our health system. That's why we will continue efforts to broaden the flexibility in our hospital system with regards to how hospitals can better organize their workforce and, and take care of patients and sequence them so we can expand capacity. We've got real work to do and we're going to go to work on day one. And speaking of day one, your day one game plan, very ambitious. I think we've done more than 70 campaign promises. Big commitments, many of them day one commitments. How realistic is it to get all of this done on day one, say, eliminating the grocery tickets, banning CRT? What are your thoughts? Well, I believe that we have to go to work at the pace of the people, not the pace of government. And we made a lot of commitments and we're gonna keep them. And so while tomorrow is a moment where we, yes, celebrate, and we have once again for the 73rd time, the peaceful transition of leadership in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and I'll be so honored to become the 74th governor, we're immediately going to work. We're gonna to go to work to get taxes down and we have legislation that will eliminate moving that will eliminate the grocery tax. We're gonna to go to work to reestablish expectations of excellence in our schools. And oh, by the way, our recent appointments of, uh, uh, of a secretary of education and, and Amy Gadara and our entire su uh, superintendent of school team is gonna to go to work to make that happen. We're gonna to go to work to make our community safe again and comprehens comprehensively fund law enforcement. And we've got to get this economy moving. So you're gonna see immediate actions to one, make sure that Virginia is open for business, to cut back on job killing regulations, to invest in workforce development and grow jobs. 400,000 jobs over the next four years, 10,000 new startups, new jobs, new businesses will lift up all Virginians. And that's what we're gonna do on day one. Governor, can you show me your day one action, executive action? 
on inauguration day or are we talking first business day such as that repealing that public health order on masking your executive order on critical race theory well the first business day for me is tomorrow and so we're going to work tomorrow and you're going to see a lot of movement get started tomorrow i am excited about the inauguration i'm excited about bringing everyone together i'm excited about not just celebrating the moment, but celebrating the future that we can all have together. And it all starts tomorrow on day one. Well, I think our campaign fully embodied looking forward. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look forward. We're gonna bring people together around an agenda that Virginians sent us here to do, not Republicans, but independents, we won a majority of the independent vote. Democrats walked across the aisle. We came together as Virginians around an agenda. And that agenda is to get taxes down, reinvigorate expectations of excellence in our schools, make our communities safe, literally re reinvigorate the job market so that we can have job opportunities for all Virginians and to make government work for us. That's what our agenda is about. That's what we're gonna work on. That's what we're gonna bring people together around. And we're gonna step forward and not look back. All right, thank you all.